What's good everybody, it's your host Jackson Indongo back again with another sewing tutorial and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to hem your pants while keeping the original edge. If you find this video helpful, I'll really appreciate it if you guys liked, comment and subscribe to the channel as it will help your boy grow. I'll really appreciate the support but without further ado, let's get into these tutorials and the materials you need to complete this project. Here are the supplies and materials you need in order to complete this project. So you're gonna need a seam ripper, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, you're gonna need either pins or clippers. I prefer clippers because pins be just be poking your boy, it's not fun. You're gonna need any marking tool, I'm gonna be using chalk, any marking tool works and you're gonna need a ruler and an iron if you own one. Not necessarily needed. But if you own an iron, it will just help when we cut our pieces and we need to align things towards the end. So without further ado, let's go wear our pants and begin this process. Alright, so now that we have our pants on, it's very important that the pants are all the way up to your waist. Wear a belt if you have to, to keep the pants in place. But just make sure that they are at waist level before you fold them. It's very important that when you cut your jeans, they are right at the heel of your foot. Unless you are going for high cut jeans, this does not apply to you. But if you are not going for a high cut jean, please make sure that the back of the jeans when you fold them should be right above the heel of your foot. And once you are done with one side, replicate it to the other side so it should look like so. And once you have both sided folded, now you can take off your jeans and let's go and start pinning stuff, cutting stuff, hemming and all that good stuff. So let's get it. You can pause the video if you have to. So for this section, I'm going to be just moving a little bit fast. So be sure to forward the video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna zip up the jeans button it up so that everything is proportioned and aligned so that when we cut we're cutting accurately you don't want one side to be longer or shorter than the other right at the top you can pin the jeans so that even though things move around there isn't much of a difference now that's just optional I just usually do it if you don't have pins you don't have to now you're gonna get a pin and you're gonna put the pin right at the bottom of where we folded it and then we're gonna unfold it so that we know where we're gonna draw our line so we can start doing our cutting so take your marking tool you're gonna follow where the pin is and mark it take your pair of scissors and we're gonna cut and then once we do that we're gonna unfold and replicate the same thing that we did on the one leg to the other side Zero point five inches from the top of the edge and the reason we are doing that is so that that zero point five inches is what we're gonna reattach back to the jeans and sew so that when we fold our pants it's gonna seem like we never really cut or hemmed our jeans so this part is very important remember measure zero point five inches then you're gonna cut it and once you cut both sides, you're going to take your seam ripper and we're literally going to seam the thread at the bottom. Be careful when you are ripping through this. The jeans sometimes can be very fragile around these areas. So just take your time and do not make any rips as that's going to rip through the jean and defeat pretty much most of the purpose. So please do take your time when you're doing this so that it comes out looking clean and there shouldn't be any damage pause the video if you have to but yeah seam rip both sides and we're gonna move forward from there it's now time to pull out that iron and remove those wrinkles ironing is a very good practice every sewer should make into a habit in this situation ironing these edges is just gonna make it easier for us to reattach them back 
to the jean. We're now going to take our edges and reattach them back to the jean. And it's very important why we iron because it's easier for us to reattach the edge guidelines and the jean guidelines together. You can use your pins or you can use your clippers to reattach them back together. Be sure to do this on both sides. Once you're done, we're going to go to the sewing machine and begin the sewing process. We're now going to sew at that 0.5 inch line that we first measured when we were cutting out the edge. So if you have to just measure 0.5 inches again, I can ballpark where 0.5 inch was, but if you're someone who's a beginner sewer and you don't, you're not used to this, then just measure 0.5 from the edge and create a line so that it's easy for you to follow through. And yeah, just sew along that 0.5 inch line on both sides of the pants. I also removed that side plate that comes with the sewing machine so that my garment can go through that arm and it's easier for me to rotate the jeans. As you can see in the video, we are very accurate with um, our guidelines. So this is a very important aspect that those guidelines are pretty much straight as it will make it seem like you never really hemmed the pants. Be sure to pause the video. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section and I'll be answering any questions that you guys might be confused on. Our seam guides are accurately aligned. Now you're gonna take your seam ripper and you are gonna go at your seam allowance and remove some of that thread because we just sewed on it. We want our seam allowance guide inside to be free so we can create a notch. The reason we're creating a notch doesn't have to be perfect. The notch could be square, triangle, it could be bigger, shorter, it doesn't have to be super small. I just made mine small. It could be bigger if you have to, if it will make your life easier. The reason we're doing that is when we start to fold, it removes a little bit of that bulkiness and it helps our needle pierce through once we start sewing. Jean can get pretty bulky pretty easy with a couple of folds. So that's why we create these notches. The time to fold is upon us. Please do take your time with this. Make sure everything is accurate and fold the edges all the way in. You're literally going to follow the guidelines that were created prior to us seam ripping through the edge. Just follow that. Just follow and then right at the edge where we sewed on, make sure that part is facing up so that it goes inside the edge. That way it's just going to seem like we never really hemmed the pants. As you can see, it's looking pretty neat as if we never hemmed these pants. Make sure to pin. When you find everything is well aligned, pin it, clip it, whatever it is you do. I'm clipping mine and you're pretty much going to repeat this process on both sides of our jeans. Once that's done, once everything is all pinned, we are now going to go ahead and sew. We're literally at the end of this tutorial. We're almost done and I'm proud of you for coming this far if you followed along. On another note, please match the thread. If you have thread that is matching the color of that which they have used outside, again, this will just make it seem seamless as if we never really hemmed the pants. Match your thread. Very important. You don't want to have a different color because people will see the alteration. So along the edge, Please do take your time when you are doing this as gin is very harsh with needles. Even I forget just how harsh gin can be with needles. I did break one needle when I was creating this tutorial. So please do take your time on any heavy places. Please use your, your sewing dowel to get through those hard to reach places. And once it's all done, it should look something like so. Repeat on the other side, sew again, 
and when everything is all said and done take your time the final product will look amazing it should look something like this look at how amazing that looks it looks like we never did any alteration at all it's very hard to see any mistakes amazing congratulations you just learned how to literally hem your pants i'm proud of you and now i'm gonna wear the jeans and we can see the before and after of how things turned out would you look at that this seems super seamless like no alteration was done on these jeans at all this is how you hem pants while keeping the original edge i hope you found this really helpful i'm now gonna show you just how much fabric was cut out for the pants to look this way look at how much fabric we cut out it doesn't even seem like these pants were altered at all that is how you hem your pants while keeping the original edge. Alright y'all, I hope you found this video really helpful. If this tutorial is something you resonate with and is, there's anything that you would need help with or you want to learn, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. I will really appreciate your support my channel. Literally, like I said in the previous video, I really admire people with sewing channels that have um, subscribers and a community that comes to ask them for help. I want to have that. So if you guys can help me grow, I'll really appreciate you and I'm going to be pumping out as many tutorials as, as I can for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you guys in the next tutorial. Have yourself an amazing summer. Peace.